This is the Duck that bring you scenario 8 of Grand Campaign 42 for Panzer Corps. This is the bonus fictional scenario Buzanov called Depot, which is a chance to fight some Western tanks, uh, some Lend Lease tanks, and a chance to capture a few units. And hopefully, this will be a net prestige boost as opposed to a prestige drain for me. Uh, so, let's proceed. Uh, I've also updated my mod to the latest version, which incorporates numerous other changes, among which is that 88 guns have less rate of fire against air units, only 70%. So you can see here, 14 strength one only fires 9 shots. It can still kill a good number of fighters, but it's no longer the one-hit kill wonder that it used to be. It is at the rate of fire is, of course, still 100% against ground units, uh, so it maintains its deadly reputation as an anti, um, uh, uh, anti, um, ground unit unit. Anyway, don't know why I couldn't say that uh, correctly. Let me see. Huh? That actually works pretty well. But we should use a dedicated fighter to shoot it down. I think the E motto is more than sufficient. Yeah. So I gotta play this scenario very carefully. Since I want to do everything in my power to minimize losses. Let us take a look. Valentine tanks. Plus anti-aircraft gun. Um, hmm. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that I can't actually get within range. Okay, duh. Okay, I got this. So I'm thinking about how I want to position my units. seems to me that this is the right answer. Valentine tanks have three move. They are exceedingly slow. So not really a threat in that way. I want to position some units very carefully. Let me see. Uh, for Q for press. Eh. <sighs> One thing is due to the huge quantity of self-propelled AA guns. Lend lease ones that Soviets have uh, running about in the middle here. By the way, normally I prefer flanking attacks, uh, but in this scenario, I'm going to go for direct assault uh, because, well, actually, truth be told, flanking attack could be an interesting maneuver to pull off. The AI has units on reserve in the flanks uh, to hit me with, so it might actually be more interesting to clear out the, the flanking AI units and then go for a kill in the middle. It might actually be the better way to do this. Eh, well, we'll see. We'll see how the battle plan goes. I still think I'm going to go for direct assault so as to capture the units first. Uh, fast, that is, that is my highest priority. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's 
see. Uh, I have some ideas. <sighs> okay, I gotta think about this. I mean, there are a lot of tricks I can kind of pull off. Hmm. What I don't want to do is leave my Stukas too far out in the front. In fact, I want to preserve all my bombers until I can be sure of cleaning up. The Russian, uh, well, the Lend Lease planes, that's why I'm taking so long to make these moves. <sighs> Too much thought involved. That's really a hard problem here. One thing I know is that the AI has relatively low infantry on this map. Most of it is Lend Lease tanks, like the Valentine, which have been buffed. Uh, somewhat. They have better ground defense, 12. It's, they're still pretty pretty weak and easy to destroy. There are two KV-5s in the middle, a historical unit. So those are a bit tougher to take out. Where's my Moto G? I know what to do. I actually changed my mind about the bombers. I am going to use one here. Sure, why not? Uh, there are two and least tanks there. Hmm. Might be interesting to allow the AI to actually spot me. Otherwise, they'll probably reinforce. Although, I, I, I think if they spot me, they'll probably still reinforce anyway. Uh, that church hill. Kind of irritating. I could drive up to them, in theory. But it's too dangerous. This unit with four stars and a defense plus three hero is more or less invulnerable. I still can't kill anyone hit. Well, it's not really invulnerable, but, but it's much more difficult to destroy than the average panzer. Mm. I know I'm taking forever to make the first move. Uh, it is critical, though, that I get this correct. That I do this correctly. Okay.
I also have one fighter left that I can use to cover one position. The question is, what do I want to cover? I could put the fighter here that allowed three of my bombers to act. That's actually a pretty good move. Uh, and if I wipe out all three Russian units, they shouldn't be able to spot me with anything except their planes, but... Then the Russians will drive up all sorts of anti-aircraft guns and do damage. I don't like that. So, one way to do this ideally is to use units with good ground defense. Uh, fighters now actually have uh, have much better ground defense. That one has 21 ground defense. And they're relatively cheap uh, compared to bombers to repair. So there's that 23 ground defense. Uh, so that's one way of trying to lure the AI, AI out is to use fighters to soak up. Well, your um, what's the ground defense on this thing? 22. That's actually pretty good. As you can see, the Stukas are worse at 19 and 20. Ju 88 21 is pretty bad. Uh, by contrast, HG 111 has 25. It's, it's sort of a tough bomber. So the choice between two is not obvious. Ju 88 has. Uh, ton more attack, especially hard attack. It was used as a dive bomber quite successfully. Uh, it has more movement too. It has uh, better fuel, although less ammo. The problem with this plane is that it's more expensive and more vulnerable. Hmm. The way I've tried to redesign air power is so that it should only be used at the critical point, instead of just being used more or less uh, any way you want. Alright, I know what to do. This is gonna be bowed. Good. Next. Hopefully this kills the conscript. Damn it. Well probably shouldn't have attacked. Oh well. Finish it off next turn. Uh, any unit I can use to finish it off? Nope. Damn. That is unfortunate. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to resist the impulse to attack, I know. Next. I want to finish off this conscript. This one is easier to finish off. That might not kill it. You know, T-34 is pretty tough. What's the spotting on this thing anyway? Two. Oh, that's a problem. Should we treat up? What should I use to kill it? So many choices. I think I'll use that. Yeah. Okay, that was exactly as predicted. You know what? I'll take a risk. D-34s are sufficiently tough. They have, what, 15 ground defense? Plus 2 stars, that's 17. That's pretty difficult to knock out. I'll cover the Wolfram in. Keep my bombers in reserve. I actually use this to cover that. Uh, 
Let's hope I don't regret any of these maneuvers. The only real mistake I made is that damn conscript shouldn't have attacked. Uh, some losses are inevitable. Damn, that Warhawk did a lot of damage to my artillery. Urgh. Oh, that's pretty good move by the AI. Fortunately, Valentine tanks have very poor soft attacks, so... So yeah, my infantry escapes unscathed. There's one to AA guns. There's another one. Good. Moving them to the front so I can slide them. Rain next turn, that's a problem. Don't like rain. Really don't like rain. <laughs> but I don't need to do that. Whoops. I would prefer to shoot down planes. Well, maybe that was a mistake. Where's my motto G? I want that to lead the attack on Hurricane. As you can see, it's not like the Land and Loose planes are still that dangerous. Hmm, Valentine tank, huh? Huh, that conscript wasn't fully repaired. That actually means the AI didn't have enough prestige to do it. It's kind of hilarious, honestly. Huh. I just want to destroy this thing. Like that. Use the recon unit to enforce mass attack. Apparently it wasn't actually needed, but always good to do it nonetheless. Well, now that didn't work out so well. Oh, come on. The reason why I'm going through this rigmarole here is so I can do the following. Use recon unit to block. Yeah, it's that might actually be necessary. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer to drive up a tank tank. <sighs> Oh, that might be a mistake. Whoops. Nope. Got lucky. It basically was in the direction I wanted the unit to retreat to. Let's see. What else can I do? No, that's silly. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. Five. Uh. Use the T-34 to absorb hits. Wrong with the Stug. Hmm. That didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. Hmm. 
It's obviously not enough to kill it, but it's enough to force a retreat. I don't actually want it to retreat. One other problem I have is that I am... Uh, I, I better use... I only have one fire left for escort duty. I better pick a good position. Yeah. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I think the best position is actually over here. The odds of killing it aren't too good. I'll kill it next turn. <sighs> hmm. Shermans have been buffed fairly significantly. Uh, they have good initiative, mostly, and decent armor but their hard attack is pretty bad. They have amazing soft attack, so they're really designed more as uh, vehicles to, to attack infantry rather than tanks. How's this unit do? Well, actually, it does pretty, pretty well. I say go for it. Normally that would be a disaster, but the fighter bomber can move, uh, can attack without uh, worrying too much about fighter escort. I'm surprised by how bad the odds is the Sherman versus the Panzer F2 is. Huh. Well, can't win them all. I gotta think a bit about the position I want my troops being here at the front. This Panzer is pretty useless for engaging tanks, but it can be very valuable when engaging infantry. The other thing is the Russians have those KV tanks. If it rains next turn, that's going to be a big problem, because I can't use strategic bombers to exhaust the ammo of those tanks. Ah, oh, big problem. Alright, this is what we're going to do put our defensive panzer in the front, put my more powerful panzer in the back, move up some artillery to cover. Don't know what the Sherman's going to do. this up. Keep this in AA mode. Yeah. I guess I'll move this this way. Keep many of these units in reserve still. Don't know what to do about this tank. Uh, 
Guess I'm a bit light on armor in the east. Still, I, gu I guess I'll transfer this tank this way. Alright. Please don't rain next turn. 20% chance. Here's hoping I get lucky. I'm sure the AI still has a couple of those self-propelled anti-aircraft guns flying about. I mean, not flying about, you know, running about. I remember there were a lot in the middle. There we go. Yeah. Well, I really wanted to kill that Churchill. Oh, only the one. Yes! 20% chance! How good is it to be lucky? Let's see. Valentine Tank has 5 initiative, which is abysmal. Uh, hmm. How should I do this? Uh, da -da -da -da. Initiative is pretty good. Yeah. It was worth a try. Because. Next, I want to do this. This next part's kind of tricky. It all depends on where that KV tank is. Let's take a look. Okay, there's also artillery piece in the front, huh? Yeah, see, that's the unit I don't like, the KV-5. That's the real danger. Well, I guess we can begin with easy things. Treat <sighs> forest. Hmm. Ideally, I would want to lure that tank out. Ideally. Since why would I want to waste time fighting these units with that armor train acting as support? Stewards had three spotting, right? I made them into a recon unit. That's that's lovely. Ideally, I want the KV-5 to come out to play. Hmm. I also don't like artillery. And I don't want to bombard the KV-5 until it's had a chance to come out. And I don't like that armored train. Alright, this is what we're going to do. First, this plane needs to be refueled. Next, we'll send a plane here, oh, not there, but rather here to take a peek. Doesn't seem to be any AA guns. Next, I dislike armored trains immensely. This will knock out its ammo. I also dislike artillery immensely. That will t get rid of its teeth. Uh, how many moves does this recon unit have? One, two, three, four. Uh, 
Four is not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about the East later. Scenario is taking me a long time to play, I know. Mm. Mm. Eh, forcing it to retreat onto the Hills that way is no good. What I want to do is force it to retreat this way. Then I can do this. Counterattack sooner rather than later. Keep some aging close to range, help interdict, blah blah blah. Uh, This is complicated. It'd be nice to capture the airfield. Well, that makes this choice easier. There goes Sherman. Got pause. And I am back. So, after some careful thought, I've decided that it's okay to have my air units take a bit of damage. So this this is my current plan. And let's see how it goes. If we use the defensively tough uh, unit to take control of this area. Those are fortification hexes, I believe. Uh, the Buzanovka Depot hexes. Uh, this could actually be a problem. Keep that in reserve. 
given that they are fortification hexes, yeah, terrain cap initiative is three. I'm like, and given the fact that all these units seem to have a ton of entrenchment on there, I'm like nearly 100% sure. So it's pretty safe to put infantry on fortification hexes without entrenchment. I mean, without artillery support, since they gain a ton of entrenchment. And now I can use the airfields. Although it might actually be wise not to use those airfields. I do have one more or two more fires available. I can try to do this actually. Would be fun to attempt. Yeah. Take a risk. Yeah. I probably would have lost at least one string point anyway. What irritates me a bit about tactical bombers attacking, say, self propelled anti aircraft guns is they still have a hundred initiative on the anti aircraft gun, which seems a little unrealistic to me. I would change that if possible. Alright. Situation over there looks pretty good. I'm no covering unit for my pioneer. But yeah, it's not too much I can do about that. The Stuart tank will probably move to attack it. I can survive that blow. I actually don't want to bombard that. There's a reason, which is that I want that conscript. Actually, no, no, there is a good reason. Originally, for many infantry, it'd be best to let them entrench up to three and close to ring so I can attack them with uh, other units, but with a conscript, it's actually ideal to force it to fight on clear terrain. Alright, the last thing I have to deal with is this sector. Oh, I should have actually killed their artillery. Oh well. Now we will lure out the KV-5 tank and we'll put my best defenders in front. What's the soft attack on these things for? That's pretty pathetic. I don't have to worry too much about that then. I mean, I don't even need that infantry there to cover the artillery due to how zone of control works. Hmm. Let's do resupply. All right. Let's see how this goes. Armored train is now useless. That's a good choice for the KV tank. Good thing the T-34 is tough defensively. There's another one. That's lovely. That actually went exceedingly well and unlucky for the AI. That's good. That's that's very good. That was as anticipated.
I have to say, this round went magnificently. If the ad doesn't pull anything else out of its hat, which it may. Still thinking, apparently. Eh. Alright, this turn went really well. I cannot emphasize enough just how well it went. Now that thing is out of ammo and no longer a threat. Continue the assault. Hmm. I don't actually need to bombard that artillery. I should bombard this artillery. All right. Here at Stewart. Perfect. Hmm. Not good. Yeah. Kill the conscript in the open first. Eh, did nothing. The reason why I'm desperately trying to suppress this unit is simple. I'm trying to force it to retreat onto the forest. Now I gotta hit it with my best attack unit. And hope I get lucky, more or less. What about this unit? Sure. That didn't go well. Oh well. Even without forcing it into the forest, this tank is now useless. Whoa, okay. That was ridiculous luck. Tch, kill 5% of score 4 kill. Who says humans didn't get as lucky as the AI? Eh. 
That armor train will resupply next turn, but it's not a threat. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Ran a bit out of artillery cover. Hmm. Still don't have anything to do with his tank. So if I guess put it like that. Transfer G34. That was a more expected outcome. There we go, another expected outcome. I could have more fighters. How's my air cover looking? Again, the strategic, I mean, the, the fighter bomber doesn't really need air cover. This unit could benefit from refueling. Oh, it doesn't really need to refuel. I better cover this unit. I hate the vulnerability. You know, actually, let, let's leave it put. Let's leave it put. Yeah. Keep this unit here. Spotting on trains is one, right? Yeah, good. Oh, there is my other fighter. Well, well that's easy then. There we go. I'm sure the AI has more planes. Ooh, what do I want to do with the Grenadier? Let's actually transfer it that way. Aha! I was right! Is it just the one hurricane? That's pretty weak. Ambush, nice. Cloudy weather. Well, let's see. Not much, but oh, it still did four damage. It's really good. Situation there is is kind of tricky. All right, I gotta clear out this conscript. That I feel is the major problem.
still the Churchill. And I still have all these tanks over there. Now the Churchill can be dealt with with the units I have on hand. Pressing as many infantry there as I would like. A lot also depends on what else the AI has. But, yeah. Let's do this. Still left. All right. Hmm. Now we run into some problems here. There's a Sherman recon unit, various miscellaneous units. The thing about the Sherman is, if I put an infantry in clear terrain to attack it, the other Sherman will retaliate, which is bad. I don't want that to happen. So I have to think about this for a while determine the proper course of action. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, it's not impossible to salvage. Plenty of fighters left as escorts. Probably shouldn't have bombarded that Sherman now that I think about it. Ugh. This is the new plan. As desperate as the Russian forces are, I don't expect them to attack into close terrain. Then I can position my units for a massive counterattack. Russians refuse to attack. Good. Good. So, things have actually gone my way for a little bit. The reason I'm using strategic bombers on the Sherman is, is of course, they have some AA capability. And it's not unheard of for tanks to, on occasion, to have shot down a plane or a fighter bomber or two with their own machine guns. It's not unknown, but I admit it is not as frequent as this game would suggest, so... That's arguably a problem. We don't actually want to kill it because I want to do this.
Those are fighter bar I can use. Valentine tank there. Didn't see that. It's actually a problem. Damn. That went better than expected. Didn't have enough initiative. Yeah. Oh well. That took care of that entire force. Quite handily, I have to say. I'm pretty sure the AI is LU as the counterattack with in the east. Pretty sure. Actually I can do this. I don't actually want to attack that, yeah. Uh, well, I have a problem with that Valentine tank. First captured unit. Hmm. A lot more Valentine tanks than I remembered. Uh, one of them might still attack my out of ammo yeah, pioneer, unfortunately. Not too much I can do about that. Hmm. 
I need to pause in my attacks here in the east. Wait, hold on. There is a potential for some ambush action if I do this correctly. Uh, hmm. There we go. Valentine tank feels good about attacking a T thirty four. That's interesting. Did pretty good damage too. Ah, my T thirty four is getting pretty beat up, but it's close to three stars. And I have the SU one two two now. Love that unit. Go into the forest. Sure, why not? Oh, took some damage. That's okay. <laughs> Captured. SU-122 is such a fun unit. Useful on defense, useful on offense. There aren't too many more Russian units in the middle. There are a lot more to the east. That's that's what I have to watch out for. One thing I like to point out is that Shermans, along with capture Shermans, are now a viable tank to keep around for a good while, as opposed to being completely worthless in the stock game. Now I should probably lower the soft attack of this tank by one. So it's not too good. Yeah, I think I might do that. But anyway, it has 8 initiative, good soft attack, okay hard attack, at least for this year, although it's pretty much useless the next year. It has good defense, and most importantly, 4 close defense, which isn't really accurate, but uh, makes this into sort of a close terrain support vehicle like the Panzer 3N. And the cost is low compared to the other capture units for balance reasons. So this unit, uh, the sh captured Sherman, should now be uh, something that the players sh should not want to just immediately disband. Which I think is a positive change. Whoa! 
It's interesting. What other tanks do I have? This net, all right. Defense plus three tank took two damage. The thing has like with four stars something like six effective close defense. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh well. transfer my bombers to prepare for the next series of attacks. Start transferring some units to the east. Oh, ten turns left, that's plenty of time. Hmm. As anticipated, more fighters. They're coming. 